Which of these options is equivalent to cosecant 80 degrees? Okay, so I have some options here and one of them is equal to, because it says choose one answer, one of them is equal to this and the rest are not. I have to find which one that is. Now I have a clue here, evaluating trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. So I'm kind of looking at some complementary relationship. So, okay, how do I write here? Uh, okay, so uh, I need to know what cosecant theta is equal to. I know that cosecant of any angle, cosecant of any angle theta will be equal to secant of 90 minus theta. Right, this is just a property that I'm aware of because I know what these ratios really mean. And if ever you are a little bit doubtful, you can just draw the triangle and verify that your um, that what you've written down here is correct because you can look at it. Okay, there is let's say there is theta here, then cosecant is basically hypotenuse by opposite. And for the angle 90 minus theta, that same ratio, because op hypotenuse by opposite would have become for this angle op hypotenuse by adjacent which is what we call secant theta. So for 90 minus theta, the same ratio will become secant 90 minus theta. And uh, that will be equal to cosecant of this angle, cosecant of theta. You can always verify this. And now that you know this, after this it simply becomes plugging the value of theta and finding what it should be. So secant of 90 minus 80 in this case, and you get secant 10 degrees, secant of not 90, second of oh, 10 degrees. And um, there is an option that says second 10 degrees. So let's select that and let's check. That's right. Keep up the good work. Now, uh, let's let's go to the next question. Because he can 75 degrees equals second of x. Which x value will make the equation true? Okay. It's in effect just asking me second of what is equal to cosecant of 75. Once again, I know my relationship between cosecant and secant. So cosecant of 75 degrees equals, that's right, we just did it. So you know that it's secant of 90 minus 75 degrees. So 90 minus 75 equals secant of 15, right? So 15 plus 75 will be 90. So that's correct. So secant of 15 degrees. Let's verify. Yay. I, I, I never get tired of the string sound. It always brings, brings joy. Next question. So uh, here we say which of the options is equivalent to cos of 1 degrees. Now once again I know that just like cosecant and secant share a relationship, sine and cos 2, so sine of theta will be equal to cos of 90 minus theta and once again you can draw the diagram to verify this is true. So cos of 1 will be equal to sine of 89 which is 90 minus 1. Let, let me just write that. Cos of 90 minus 1 which is cos 89 shouldn't skip steps, you know. And, or see, keep going, or see how we answer the question. Okay, I'll see how you answer the question. So, um, we can use this identity to find the value of x, which is cos theta equals 90 minus theta, sine of 90 minus theta, which is what we did. So, we followed the same method that Khan Academy solution has as well. So, finally, we have one question involving cot and tan. So, cot 23 equals tan of what? Once again, cot of 23 will be equal to tan of 90 minus 23. Now, this is because you can draw the triangle again, you can verify this. All of these are complementary relationships. So that's going to be equal to tan of 90 minus 20 is 70, minus 3 is 67 degrees. And with that, I would have hopefully got all of the questions correct.